video I'll show you how you can add pictures and text to your interactive whiteboard page. So we've got a page in the software here, this is in Active Inspire. And the first thing we do is we go to, in this case, a website and we carefully select the text. So you just want your arrow key there. When you get to some text you can select will turn into a little line cursor instead. So you left click down or hold your pen or finger down and select the text, then you let go. Then you go over some part of the text, so not on the white area but on the blue text, and hold the left mouse button down or press down with the pen and start to drag. And you'll see this little line circle with a symbol come up saying you can't move it on the page, but that's fine, we don't want to move it onto the page, we want to move it somewhere else. So we drag it all the way down. The important thing is to keep holding the pen down or hold the left mouse button down until you're onto the page. So you bring it down to the icon of your software here, which will bring it up, keep holding it down and drag it up and now it's added it onto the page. So we want to make it a bit bigger in this software. We can click on the star button there and just keep it clicking on that one till we've got the size that we're looking for on the page. If you want to add a picture from the internet, it's the same sort of thing. You just find your picture, click and hold down or press down with the pen, drag, hold down, hold down, hold down, keep holding down and that will pop the picture on the page. This will also work to add it from somewhere like a Word document, so we'll click on our Word document here to bring it up. We'll select the text, hold down, keep holding down and drag that one back up to the text. And if you wanted to add a picture from somewhere like My Pictures, where you've got some different things here, all you need to do is click on the file icon for the picture. So you don't want the big one here, you just want the thumbnail or the little file here. Click and hold down, and you can also drag that one up onto the page. So you can see once you get the hang of that, it's really easy to select text, drag things, and put things quickly onto your page from lots of different sources.